Hello guys, thanks for watching. Adrian here from Mapsit. So uh, in this short video, I will uh, present the latest features added to the to this mini e-commerce powered by Django and Stripey. Now the products uh, the product has been updated to support an, uh, a better uh, management of the product information. Uh, all the images now are um, manageable uh, through the UI. You don't need uh, the information is not saved on the uh, on in external storages like AWS or uh, Google Cloud, uh, and it's super super easy to to get started. Uh, let's um, clone the the template and uh, build the the project in uh, in a local environment and uh, see how it goes. Basically, if you have uh, already a Stripey account, it's super, super easy to pull the information from Stripey and um, build your your e-commerce. But uh, also, the, the files can be uh, edited manually and uh, you are good to go. Let's uh, create the, the new, new repository. So basically, I'm not. Uh, I I I don't have any anything at this moment besides the um, the Stripey account, which has already some uh, some basic products and uh, and this public repository. So uh, I will uh, check out the sources in my environment and uh, uh, open up the project. Okay, so once you're in, uh, you need to uh, follow up the usual steps. Uh, you need to create a virtual environment as usual. Activate the virtual environment. Install the modules. The feature that uh, allows to, to pull the information for Stripey is uh, reserved for super users, so uh, we need to create one once all the modules are, are uh, installed. Let me migrate uh, the database. Anyway, all the steps are documented on the on the project readme, so uh, don't worry if you miss one from this uh, demonstration. You have here all the steps. Uh, in case you have issues, feel free to um, uh, access AppSeed and uh, ask for support. So we have the database here, which is a simple SQLite database, the default uh, storage used by Django. I will uh, create Super user Okay, I will uh, run the server and uh, access the access the UI. So by default the application comes with a uh, default user and uh, this is uh, what we get. Uh, the product information is safe here in the products directory is this JSON. So for newcomers that are not familiar yet with the project, so the information just to make it simple for those that uh, are not uh, familiar with the uh, SQL with ORMs and other um, other stuff, programming stuff. So the information is here. You can update the information. It's um, saved in this JSON. Uh, if we go here, let's uh, let's imagine that we want to um, edit the information. We have here the price. Let's update the price and put another value. If we save the file and refresh the page, we have this um, the new price listed. Another thing is that the application uh, requires to uh, to provide the Stripe secrets in order to complete all the payment flow. So uh, in case we didn't provide it, uh, the application warns us. Let's uh, go back to the, to the index of the, of the products. We, the application detects that uh, only the, 
default uh, product is, is used and they invite us to um, authenticate as superior users and also uh, add the Stripe secrets. Okay, I will stop in this case the application and uh, uh, and copy the Stripe secrets from uh, from another project. Uh, this is already explained in the in the documentation. What the application requires uh, is basically the Stripe public key and secret key provided by the platform. Uh, this is also important because it's, this URL should uh, should be the same as the URL that uh, uh, application starts. Uh, is used by Stripe to um, for the um, for cases when a user completed the payment or canceled the payment. Uh, uh, those uh, variables are are optional. Uh, this is uh, a default that is used for secret key and also the debug uh, debug flag. It's uh, uh, true by default. So uh, we have here the the values, the stripey the stripey secrets. Let's uh, restart the application and. Uh, uh, visualize the the UI. In this case, uh, we should be able to complete the payment, and uh, this is uh, this is okay. We don't want to complete the payment. We want to import our amazing uh, products from from Stripey. So uh, let's authenticate as a super users. I'm using the same uh, the same password for for all testing accounts. So. Uh, now the super user is uh, is authenticated, and I will go back to the to the index, and uh, the application um, uh, invite us to to import products from Stripe. Let's uh, access the Stripe account and uh, visualize the products before the before the import. So. Um, I will enable the test mode. Uh, I'll go to the product, and basically I have here two product, three products. Uh, this one has uh, multiple pricing, and um, the application will, uh, once the information is imported uh, here, the, um, the application will uh, will use the default price. So let's import the the information basically is the same as uh, we have here. If we have here five products or ten, uh, we should have the, the same number of, uh, of products here. All the information is, is pulled from Stripe. So I will. I have the possibility to visualize the JSON and create the product. Once the product is created, so I didn't do anything. No, no, uh, no programming at all. Uh, so at this point, um, the product is uh, is usable in the UI and uh, also available for uh, for users to to complete the purchase. Let's do this and check out the the full process. So the the payment was successful. If we go here to the to the payments, we can see that we we had the purchase a few seconds ago, and uh, the customer has test adapts it. So this is this is pretty cool. Let's uh, import all the products. Um, this one also is nice, and the material kit is also nice. Of course, you have the possibility to to delete the products, to visualize the products, and uh, also edit the products. Let's um, uh, visualize first this one. So the UI it's it's super minimal, and uh, imagine that uh, we want to update the information. So we have here a basic list of options like uh, price, uh, full description, also this information which is which is displayed here under the title. So uh, I will uh, I'll update the information, save. If we refresh the page, 
the information is automatically saved in the in the JSON file. Um, let's um, update also the the product card. So this is Black Dashboard Pro. I will put here another another image. Save, and uh, once we refresh the page, we have here the new the new image, which is also saved in the um, in the JSON as uh, base sixty four. Uh, Oh, hash. So we have here. We can add more images. It's the same thing. Uh, another thing that we we can do is to um, uh, if we go here and visualize all the products. We have here the um, featured product, and um, in case we want to uh, set as featured any product installed uh, pulled from Stripey. We just need to to click on this on this control and uh, save the information and uh, the change should be reflected in the in the UI. So guys, uh, this is the product. Uh, it's super super simple um, uh, e-commerce. Basically, um, it's unhackable because uh, there are no uh, only the um, Super user account is uh, is required. Um, the products uh, are pulled automatically from um, from Stripey without any efforts. The UI that um, um, allows the product edit is is minimal, and you can add here more fields. You can uh, visualize the products once uh, once the um, your edit its uh, edit action is is confirmed. Uh, in case you want to delete the product, you can do it, and um, but the application requires your uh, your confirmation. So, guys, thanks for watching. Take a look also at uh, at the product UI. It's super nice. It's provided by creative team. We have here a lot, a lot of widgets and components. Uh, all the blocks are here, uh, headers, and all the stuff. So feel free to, to browse and uh, improve the product uh, in case you want a, a better better UI. So thanks for watching. Um, as mentioned before, the product is open source. You can find it here on, uh, on GitHub uh, in case anyone uh, have issues or um, need support. Uh, just uh, access AppSeed and. Um, we have here a dedicated page for support. Send us an email or simply join the Discord. We are more than 1,000 developers um, and uh, we try to, to help every, anyone. Thanks for watching. Adrian here from Appsit. And uh, as always, I wish you all a super, super day. Bye, guys.